Hey guys, it's Dino. Today we have a new game, white one, so concentrate on the moves of a white player. The first move is d4. This is uh, a really good move as e4 was because it opens up a piece, your pieces and controls the center. The difference between this move and e4 is because this, move, this pawn now is protected by the queen. d5 also one of the most common way to answer d4 is d5 and also knight f6 is good too because it doesn't uh, it, uh, it doesn't allow uh, y to go e4 and occupy the center so d5 and now pause the video the next move is knight f3 develops the piece in the previous video I think I said that the best squares for the knights are these four squares but sometimes knight can go maybe here it, it depends on the position but in general you are good to go if you develop the knights on these squares towards the center and yeah so uh, the next move is knight e6 also does the piece to control the center symmetrical opening so far and now pause the video the next move is e3 E3 is not necessarily good because uh, it is not practice to block your bishop but in this position this is a goal system uh, I think it is pronounced like that and uh, the guy that uh, that made this system had some intention in mind he wanted to develop his pieces towards this square to, to concentrate his power of, on these squares and then push this pawn and free up this bishop and all all the pieces uh, all the power that he, he was saving for that one push so we are gonna see how this is going to continue so the next, the next move is e6 well in this, for black e6 is not so good because uh, uh, he doesn't have the same plan as we have he should have played maybe c5 c5 and uh, Put, put the pressure on, on the center pause the video what's the next move? the next move is bishop d3 you're start, starting to put the pressure on this square to to uh, allow for the in a future push of this pawn and now go to c5 now this is good it is pushing it is putting the pressure on the center which is really really important pause the video the next move is c3 all the chess masters said that you shouldn't uh, move too many pawns preferably two but in this case this is a smart move because it allows uh, your bishop to go here if he if black goes c4 and 
the pressure on, the, on uh, E4 square is gonna is gonna uh, continue. Now knight c6, also a good move. Develops a piece. Put more pressure here. And now pause the video. The move is knight to b to d2. This is kind of kind of an odd looking move because it blocks your bishop and your queen. But it is actually just temporarily there because this pawn is going to be pushed, and this if knight if this knight goes there, th then this bishop is going to have a lovely diagonal on this queen, and all is going to be really really good. So this is just temporarily. And also we, we, developed, we, we developed a piece. So this is just an opening system and uh, kind of looks like it is breaking some opening principle but it will uh, all come into place at the end. The next move is we should be set up. Developing move. And now pause the video. Of course here white is castling, bringing your king in the corner co corner of the board where where it is safe and bringing your rook into the game. And now c4. This move is a, uh, I would say, first mistake from black because it is releasing a pressure of of uh, the center. It seems like it is pushing this bishop back, but it uh, it was a much better at c5, where it is always a threat to maybe take here and do some things here. Now here it's not really good. Pause the video. Of course, it is nice this nice c2 remains on this diagonal and preparing this push. Now b5. b5 frees up uh, this bishop and gaining some space on a queen side. Also maybe maybe threatening this preparing in the future maybe this can lead to some exchanges and opening up some lines. Now pa pause the video. What do you think the best move in this position? It is e4, finally. You see how this is going now in the... in a way where the pieces are going... gonna be uh, really active. And now black they took... because he... For example, if he plays castling and we go here, he doesn't want to allow allow this because he, his position is going to be cramped. Now he has to go here and then we can maybe go here, the, go with knight here and then our pieces are really, really, really good towards, uh, towards the king. That's why he took and then pause the video. Of course, white 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 takes at e4. And now we see these pieces are really really active in this position. Black cat cat, cat. and. It isn't actually a really good move because uh, our pieces are really acting towards the, the king and it is not really safe for a king to go, go on this side of the board. Maybe he sh should have tried to 
play this and then maybe queen here and then rook here and then just try to play play here to put some pressure on on a king side or in the center and this way when he goes here we are going to start attacking and it's going to be it's going to be a big problem as you will will see so now pause the video queen e2 the purpose of this move is to take here and then play queen to e4 where we're gonna threaten checkmate and also threaten this to take this piece then he's gonna lose lose a piece for example if, if he plays move like this you're gonna take play this and you see the, a double double threat So, so that's why he played bishop b7 protecting protecting this way protecting the knight so what do you think the now move is pause the video the move is knight to g5 and this this move is actually really really good maybe it doesn't seem like like it but because it it is a uh, it is threatening again to take here and then to take here when it unleashes the bishop but it seems like uh, black can easily stop that by playing this move and that's exactly what we want we want him to move this pawn in front of his king where he's gonna weaken his position and then it is it would be easy it is gonna be easier for us to attack him that's that's why this is a brilliant move black played h6 pause the video now we takes take here knight takes f6 bishop takes f6 and pause the video Queen e4. We played. We took here because we are trying to. Uh, we are going for some winning combination. Now we are threatening checkmate, and we are we are gonna force Black to again move, move his uh, pieces in front of a king, which is we can smell. It's gonna be. It is gonna be a deadly, deadly attack. Now black plays g6 and now pause the video. This is a kind of a key key moment of the position. What do you think white should do here? Knight 6 How can we find this move? Uh, we we should we should uh, even if uh, the move seems like a bad move we should try to figure out if it is good. If we think, hey, can we take this pawn? We calculate and see that if he takes, then this this pawn is gonna take, is gonna fall, because this this pawn is protecting this and this pawn. And when we when we do this, then this is falling and then it's gonna be really really hard for him to defend we have our bishops and our queen going in so this was played and then he took pause the video the move is queen takes g6 obviously and here black has to go to g7 If he goes maybe here, of course we we are going to take here. And then he loses another pawn, and and now pause the video. What do you think the next move is?
it is queen to h7 trying to get this king out where it, it, it is going to be more vulnerable for attacks queen of seven, uh, king f7 now pause the video bishop g6 now king has to go here if he goes here we are gonna take a bishop with our queen so he goes here and now pause the video really interesting move kind of a hard to find but not really if you think uh, uh, how can you uh, what what is the position of the king because if he, if king's king goes here we're gonna take this bishop so then this uh, this uh, move is gonna be obvious because we are threatening to go here and then king has to go here and we take a bishop so so now only move to stop this threat is knight e7 and now what do we play pause the video bishop h6 this move is not only uh, doing a job of uh, just taking a pawn that's just a side effect but it is actually getting another piece into the game and of course threatening threatening to take take here so you see how now all almost all pieces are uh, going for an attack playing a role in an attack now rooks are, pro are easy to come into play to and this is really really dangerous for black and now black played king uh, rook g8 protecting this and the next move pause the video the next move is h4 trying to support this bishop to give a check on g5 and end the game and there is nothing black can do now he took here and uh, pause the video of course queen f7 checkmate so let's go back to summarize real real quick d4 d5 knight f6 knight f knight f3 knight f6 e3 blocking the bishop but this is a system that you saw is developed to uh, for for this e4 break e6 not a really good move because it blocks the bishop bishop d3 c5 good move putting a pressure on the center c3 make your make your own room for this bishop knight c6 knight b to d2 odd looking move but it is for the purpose of this so it is not bad bishop e7 castle c4 bad move it releases the pressure of the center bishop c2 b5 and the key move of the opening e4 break d takes e4 knight takes castling queen e2 threatening to take and to go with the queen here and then threatening taking here and checkmating uh, it's not rook e8 is it is bishop b7 knight f to g5 trying to provoke h6 and weakening the king h6 happened 
Knight takes, Bishop takes f6, Queen e4, threatening checkmate. G6, sacrificing the knight for two pawns and opening up the position. And now getting the king king out, threatening to take the bishop, getting one more piece into the game, threatening checkmate, and finally the checkmate. I hope you pause the video on uh, on every move and I hope you learned something today because if you did pause and thought you are going to improve thanks for watching please leave a like subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next video